Okay guys, it feels so good to be back in my element doing my thing, which is sharing lot content with all of you. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. Today's video goes out to Miss Samara. Hey girl. She had such a great question regarding build up and starter locks. And I wanted to provide her this information as well as everybody else because you never know who may be on the journey, just starting out the journey and just want to keep their hair feeling good, light and residue free. So here are just a few tips that I feel like have helped me on this journey in terms of keeping residue, lint and just all the things out of my locks. So first we're gonna start off with cleansers. My recommended cleanser of choice is the Design Essentials Oat and Henna Shampoo. Now this claim to fame is that it definitely reduces buildup and adds volume. I don't know about the adding volume part, I ain't gonna lie. But the residue, yes, it definitely cleanses the hair. I almost strips it, but it really does a good job of getting the excessive grease, excessive product, excessive just weight that using products can, can offer. So I really recommend this product. It is not a clean product, unfortunately. It does have sulfates, but I recommend following this wash up with a moisturizing shampoo. This will really help to balance or bring back the moisture into the hair. The next thing I wanna say is retwisting. Consider the products that you're retwisting with. I've noticed over time that the heavier the retwisting gel is or the retwisting product is, that really heightens my level of residue. So I've, for the most part, tried if I retwist, I'm really not about that retwist life, But when I do retwist, I try to make sure that I'm using a water-based product and that the product is moving in the bottle, okay? My recommended product is definitely using a foam to retwist or even a locking spray. And the two that I have with me now are the Cream of Nature Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. And then my other favorite is the Texture ID Thermal Styling Mousse that is so clutch you will love that product it provides moisture and hold at the same time oh. not not this one but <laughs> the texture id product definitely pro provides moisture and hold and does not leave flakes residue your hair does not feel heavy it's still movable it's not stiff highly recommend that one also, the Dr. Alox Imani Locking Spray, as you can hear, is all about that movement, that water. Um, this is also a product that I've used for retwisting, and it does its thing. It holds, it, it, I would honestly say it provides a soft hold, but the main thing is just that it just does not leave any residue or any excess buildup on your hair or scalp. Now, if I can convert some people over to the interlocking side of the lock community, I definitely will. With interlocking, you don't need products, you don't need gels, you don't need sprays, you don't need nothing. <laughs> this is definitely a way to secure your roots, maintain a grid without having to use product. And another thing is it doesn't just wash out when you have your next... Um, wash day your interlocks stay locked and that's another reason why i do interlocking i don't have to worry about products therefore i really don't have to worry about product buildup think about it all right another thing is that not all oils are created equal and initially i didn't realize that the viscosity of your oil that's like maybe it's movement in the bottle or its thickness when you put it between your fingers or rub it between your fingers that matters 
that can determine whether or not your hair is attracting maybe lint or fibers in the atmosphere or whatever have you. So definitely find you a lightweight oil. A lightweight oil. Find you a lightweight oil. <laughs> If the oil is just sitting on top of your locks, it's not penetrating, it's not sealing in moisture, and if it's just sitting on top of your locks, that means that it's going to attract other things to sit on your locks as well. So I recommend the Aloe and Avocado Oil by Fida Naturals. I definitely have a coupon code down below for you to check that out. But this oil is so lightweight, it just glides through your fingers and therefore it glides through your hair and scalp. It allows your hair to breathe and your scalp to breathe. So definitely check this out. But some of the other lighter oils that I've used in the past have been um, grapeseed. I would definitely recommend grapeseed. Finally, to prevent especially lint buildup, I recommend not just a regular bonnet or a regular headscarf. I recommend a tubed headscarf. And this one is by Natural Curls for Life. Hey Tracy, you guys, she's here on YouTube. She has a beautiful website where she sells bonnets, um, hair coverings, t-shirts, wine glasses. I mean, girl, the girl has her hand in everything. All of her items are beautifully made. So I definitely prefer tubed um, head scarves because take care of your scalp from your edges to your nape and also your hair from root to tip. So definitely consider getting a tubed head scarf. Girls and guys, check her out. I'll leave all the information down in the description box below. But this is my new, like, this is my new love, okay? This is my new favorite headscarf. <laughs> Just because of how well it's made and the fact that my hair is completely covered. When your hair is covered, you're sleeping and tossing through the night and you're not having to worry about your hair picking up any excess of anything in your environment. So those are my tips. Hope they were helpful, especially for you, Samara. Congratulations on your new vlog journey. I hope that it continues to go well. Let me know how I can support you in any way. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.